Yo, welcome back to another episode of Be Ghetto Vlogs. Uh, this is just going to be a little update on the sports field rebuild. I'm out here now just walking around. Uh, I've been here for about half an hour now. Pulled out all the all the flags that were marking where the sprinklers were. And I think I'm going to give it its first cut today. So that's what this video is going to be about. Going to be giving the oval its first mow. Going to be cutting the wicket tables. And yeah, that's pretty much it because it's been laid for about two weeks now. And... It's definitely time to give it its first mow. As you can see, it's definitely greened up a lot. I've been running the irrigation three times a day. Uh, we'll just try and pull up a little bit of this. Oh. Yeah, I can barely pull that up. That's, that's rooted down pretty well. Uh, it's not long, but it's more so just to get rid of like these little bits and just encourage a little bit more growth. So it's not gonna take off a whole lot with the mower, but it will look a lot better. Like I said, I've been watering three times a day. The wicker table as well has been getting watered three times a day. It's greened up nicely. It was pretty dry during the rebuild because it couldn't get any water, but it's pretty nice and green now. I've had the irrigation off for about 24 hours just to let everything dry out, and I'm gonna be giving the wicker table a nice mow as well, and the practice wickets over there will also be getting a bit of a cut. But overall, the field is nice and green, and yeah. Definitely will do well with a nice mutt. Now, because I haven't been here for a hot minute, there are a lot of leaves along the boundary line here caused from the trees. So first, before I mow this ground, I'm just gonna get on the little catcher mower over there and suck up all these leaves to clean it up before I get on the cylinder mower. Let's go. While I've got you here as well, I just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone that celebrates Christmas out there. I hope you guys spent the day with your family, friends, or whoever it is that you celebrate with. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a good day anyway. Hope you guys are all enjoying your break from work if you get one. I'm meant to be on one as well. I still consider this a break. I've just come in today for a couple of hours just to make sure I get this ground cut. Didn't want to leave it and get too long. So also, if you are watching this video and you do like this content, I'd appreciate you guys liking this video and subscribing if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. Um, it's obviously New Year's Eve tomorrow as well, so stay safe out there, have a good New Year's, go into 2023 with a positive attitude and make that your year. I know that's what I'm gonna do, so look forward to a bigger and better year content-wise and just grass-wise in general. So let's get into this video. I've just finished up on the catcher mower, the rotary mower. I'm out here on the oval. I just went over this whole area because there was a lot of leaves from the trees, as you saw before. Uh, so I've sucked up all the leaves, cleaned those off the ground. And I also went over the wicket table as well with the rotary mower just to take off any longer pieces that won't get cut with the cylinder mower. So that's nice and clean now. I'm going to get on the reel mower, cut the oval, and then I'm going to get on the walk behind cylinder mower and give the wicket tables a mow. So let's go. So as you can see here, I've mowed the wicket table. I didn't use the walk behind cylinder mower. I opted just to go over it with the ride on cylinder mower, the same one I was using to cut the outfield. Save a little bit of time, but it's come up pretty well. Um, the mower was set at 15 millimeters anyway, so that's what I would have cut it at for now. With no games being played out here for another month, I'm not gonna go too low with it. And as for the outfield, given that the cut at 15 millimeters obviously as well, uh, definitely definitely needed it. It was quite hairy, so a nice cut on it has served it well. And I think what I'm gonna do now is get straight into a drone overhead shot.
Uh, well, that's it from me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's, I know it was only a short video, but it is what it is. Got to come out here, give it a nice mow. I'll probably come and give it another mow in a week or so. Uh, obviously, because it's its first cut and it is cooch, it's not going to stripe up as nicely as ryegrass does or like as prominently as ryegrass does. But once I get a bit of fertilizer on it, get some iron on it to darken up the leaf of the grass, it will start striping up nicely. But right now, it's still in the growing stage. But within a month, it's going to be pure. Like you saw how nice it is already, but within a month, it'll be absolutely pure. All right, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers. Woo! Get